The whole week is about giving people informed choice because there's so much in medicine, but it's certainly not for everyone. So hopefully they get a good grasp of what it might involve. I look at the audience of young people and think in 20 years time, how will they have contributed and what huge advances will be made. Um, we got to like loads of different things. We had practicals on Wednesday and Thursday. We were doing like surgical practicals, getting to like keyhole surgery, put on casts. We were also getting lectures on different parts of medical courses like neurology, cardiology, urology. We can now just say that obesity causes every disease and makes every disease it causes worse. So I think it's a really good thing to have a range of treatments for obesity. And the reason I think it's not a good thing is that obesity is 95% preventable. Now I'm going to talk about my experience of working in Africa. There are lots of organisations you can work with. The one I worked with uh, is Mercy Ships. The patients the ship serves don't have access to a normal planned surgery. Their conditions become just worse and worse and worse. So it does great work during that time. It does a huge volume of work and it transforms their lives. Urology is the medicine of brain, nerve and muscle disease. So we're dealing with things like stroke, multiple sclerosis, epilepsy. One of the exciting things about neurology is you get to have your own equipment. Magnified glasses that you can see my eye movements, very magnified, and I can't see out. The highlight of the week was definitely the surgical skills, I think. Putting on the cast was really good fun. Yeah. In the clinical surgery, we got to do some simulations and fake stitches and stuff. That was really interesting. It's not all about points. I know it's all about points for you guys right now, but we have people coming into medical school in their 40s. The school leaver pathways are the most competitive in the country. You'll get there eventually. There are graduate entry pathways. There are mature entry pathways. It's a whole <laughs> different world when you go to college. Uh, having to cook, clean, it's different, but then you also have this freedom to go join societies and clubs. The two of us are both on orthopedics at the moment. Uh, it's hard work, like. Don't, don't, don't ever think it's not, it's, it's hard, but it's brilliant, I love it. In graduate entry, yes it helps getting in if you have, I suppose, a science degree, but it's definitely not necessary. There was people in my course that did arts and business and archaeology. And now modern careers, no matter what they are, ask for everything. Then they ask for more. So if you choose a profession, Accountancy, medicine, chartered surveying, architecture, it will ask for everything and then it will ask for more. And the only way that's sustainable over the long term is if you like. So choose your furrow, choose your horse and plough that furrow for you and not for anyone else. Thank you. The positive feedback from the students is the highlight for me. So. You know, at a time of negativity in the health service generally and cut back and you get 120 students who are just so enthusiastic. Before this, I thought that I was more towards pharmacy than going towards medicine, but now I know that I'm going to do medicine. There's even people who, who aren't looking for it as a career, this is a great opportunity to sort of get more information on it considering it's such a vital part of any life.